I'm lazy. I don't do it the hard fat way. <laughs> Load it in the bucket. Load it in the bucket. Hey, you got hydraulics, put them to work. Deja vu. Whatever we were digging all that out. Yes, I got a hand on the but you know, gotta play the angles, right? Still beats the world out of doing this all by hand. Just to give you some indication of what visibility is like from the cab, that's it. <laughs> I mean, you can lean forward and see a little more, but you still really can't see what she's doing. Even like that, you know, you just really can't see. So you gotta, you gotta either know your machine or get, get some of the good hand signals. Well, we got the pyro on the case. It's gonna rain. Well, yeah, normally it's easier to burn, but it's going to rain later today. We had a bunch of rain from that hurricane, so it's like things are still kind of wet. And I'm just kind of loosening it up for her, dragging some out, putting some on there so she can control it. And got her trusty blower. It helps. It'll get going. <laughs> we'll get her going good. Oh, well, while she's doing that, I'm playing around with the windows. So, what we've been doing, had to trim these out with wood. As you can see, I did that one. This was kind of a, didn't have any ledge. So we added on to the ledge and tried to get it a little bit of a tilt too. And um, so I'm, it's kind of tough with these windows and stuff like that. So I can come in with my metal here, but then like this one, I can get my finger in the cockpit, but it's still not making a, as nice a job as I want. And I come back and I leave it tight to the stone and I got to cock it along here. It, it, it's not sure where I left off, battery died. So anyway, we've got a, a gap, but I'll put that metal up tight. And cock it i'll show you how i did the other ones with the stone and brick it's kind of hard to make a pretty job of it it's not my my most proud moments but i'll i'll run another bead of caulking along there and br br make that look a little better same here it's just kind of fill that in and make it sealed for now and uh, do the best you can with this stuff but i got brick with cracks in it and everything else it's kind of hard but at least I got little ledges, makes it look a little bit more normal than, uh, than what it had, and it's sealed in. Upstairs come out, I think, actually better. I don't know if I've even filmed that, but I think that looks pretty good. We've got some really good ideas for what we're going to do here. So whenever Pat gets finally done here, but that's a whole other story we'll talk about later. <laughs> But I'm going to put a 2x12 um, a right along here. Or clean all this out and run a 2x12 so that we can have a, a basically a porch here. This will be a one step down to that level. That will give this a little more structure. And I'll structure it in the inside, close it all off, and fix it. Um, kind of like I did the other side. But anyway, we're only going to come out about 8 feet. But we were looking at the way that was up here originally. So we're going to bring a porch out in that area only but the actual deck area is going to extend clear back to the, each window they centered this thank goodness they got the door right between the windows and it's like 66 inches on that side and on that side so we'll have it right out to the windows and coming out and then i'll make steps in that concrete pad that is over here i'll lay it right along here so you'll come around there'll be concrete pad steps and then porch but i want to put like stone columns 
four of them. Two of them will be holding the porch up. The other two on the ends will just be the returns for the balusters. So I think it'll come out pretty nice. Looking kind of forward to that. Got some pretty cool trim ideas on that. So anyway, I'm getting cold. I gotta get back to work. See when we get something else accomplished. So what do we have here? We went a little uh, searching around down in the gully there. And we found a few things. So, figure we'll bring this one up. Can you turn it? So literally everything and the kitchen sink. It still has a pipe in the back. Cool. This kind of broke. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Well, I'd say uh, it hurt it a lot. But those move. Yeah. <laughs> There's probably not even any rust in there. Probably not. Does it drain work? Yeah. yeah it's yes. Clogged. <laughs> it's clogged. <laughs> even I can fix that. Oh, okay. Well, just say you found those online. They're like 1200 bucks if they're in really nice shape. Like that. But, huh? The way it is, oh, wow. but they're not with these, so I don't well, know. Well, you got a point there, anyway. About, yeah, so why they throw it down there, I don't know. But we also have the uh, I found treasures too. While I was we got the bathroom sink vanity. It, well, it was a uh, pedestal sink and the old galvanized pipe. What you got there? I'm not saying okay. actually, I don't know, I've never seen anything like it. Certo. Certo. It's I don't know. Four half bottle four to here. I don't know, but we're finding some weird bottles. The 1937 Golden Age, which I can't find a lot of research on, but Golden Age was a bottling company in Youngstown and Akron and um, around that time. But like it's embossed like this one. Doesn't have the painted on labels that they had in the 40s and 50s, but at any rate, 1937 and uh, in good shape. It's like, wow, that's cool. And ginger ale, mostly. Fun. Yeah, anyhow. Good shopping. Yeah. But boy, is that fun going down over the hill getting that stuff. So now we got to go get some more stuff. <laughs> and as you can see, it's snowing. Yay. But we did get the two windows down here trimmed and the one on the other side. So that leaves these three over here but I don't think I'm gonna trim any more in the snow if we can get some of this up that'd be cool let's see what else we can get Ooh, here she comes up the hill with the with the base oh it's a workout let me tell you Got this up here just gonna mess around Unhook this, this strap. It's caught in the pipe. Couldn't do that if I tried.
She grabbed the base. I got the top. I think it's pretty heavy. The only heavier is those, those tubs, man. I mean, I don't know how they did those tubs in the day. Cast tubs. Try to get those things. Get it. Too bad the faucets on that sink don't work. But that's all right. We're gonna go get the galvanized tank. Let's try. Let's try that. Ready to get the galvanized tank? There's a cold water storage tank down there too. Anyway, this is 1937 on the base. 37. Oh wow, cool. Yeah. I was going to truck driver with these truck tires we keep on Found <laughs> Found a driver's license too. Um, can't quite read it. It was John somebody, but uh, we got the picture. And uh, can't read the date he was born quite. I'm going to play around and see if I can find out who this was. But somebody used to live here and tried to burn the driver's license. Must <laughs> uh, got a new one. Thought they'd get rid of it. Anyhow. Is there a chip in that thing on the side? Or is that just green? Oh, it's just green. Washing your hands? <laughs> Considering that went down the hill. Yeah, a little bit, but that's on the base that so you don't see. Yeah, well, that's cold character lines. So there's what the tank looks like with all its pipes and knobs and stuff and we had probably a gauge on there. We will again. I will again because what are you going to do with this? Steampunk! Yeah! The one room's going to be a steampunk. I am thing. really happy. So that is perfect for that. And no lighting on it whatsoever again. Got perfect patina and look and everything. It's going to be yeah. awesome. I'm you, got a, you got a little mall. You got a little beauty mark. Oh. <laughs> Ash. Uh, probably dirt from over to hell. I don't know. Ash. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, got that, that. Like I said, these still work. Found some copper pipe. Even the old tub. Shower. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fancy one. Had a little oh, look at octagonal, it. hexagonal. Oh, yeah. yeah. That might have been in the basement. Nothing but luxury. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Why are we pouring out through every hell and make us more work? I have to get it back up over <laughs> At any rate, we don't know what we're doing with any of this stuff. We'll figure it out. Except for that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, you guys got to stay tuned to see how this all turns out. And like and subscribe and comment and all that fun stuff, right? Right. <laughs> Mama needs to buy some more steampunk. <laughs>